I could say that it's to serve the the um, transition in our civilization's mythology, mm. in our deep defining stories that tell us who we are and what the world is, how change happens, how to be a man, um, where we came from, why we're here. <clears throat> the the answers to those questions are <clears throat> are, are are changing, and and I'm here to serve that, that change. Uh, and, and this is true of anybody's mission. Those words reduce it. <laughs> it can't actually be captured in words. Something's always left out. Yeah. And I guess I want to, you know, whatever, like, I know it's popular in men's work, especially to make your mission statement for yourself for your life, but also I can take this moment, you know, and, and all of us could do this to, to, and like, just stand eye to eye with your mission and feel how profound it is and how, you know, it can't be reduced into words. Truly. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, I mean, language and words are a powerful tool. It's just that when they get in the way of a relationship, instead of serving the relationship, that they become, um, they take on a life of their own and run away with us. And we can be lost in the words and in the concepts. But when they are in service of intimacy, then, then they you know, are amazing tools.